There was quite a lot of revelations done today from Prime Minister Manasseh Sogavare upon his return from his week-long tour to China with his 30-plus high-level delegation. He's told us that there were MOUs that were being signed, nine in particular, and majority of which is directed at addressing some of the development needs of Solomon Islands. But one, in fact, which stands out is the policing deal which has received a lot of interest, and this will allow for Chinese uh, foreign police to be here in Solomon Islands, to be able to train local police force in terms of capacity building, and this will run until 2025. And in a country like Solomon Islands, where there's close to 700,000 people and 1,500 police officers to maintain law and order, uh, this, in fact, Prime Minister Sogavari highlighted that this need is directed towards addressing um, its domestic issues and domestic needs and addressing its internal um, crisis. He also talked about uh, the possibility of Solomon Islands establishing its own military um, forces. He also talked about the hypocrisy that he saw coming from Australia and United States um, towards what he says um, was a, a political or direct interference of his country's decision and its sovereignty when it came to choosing China. And he made mention, in fact, uh, that these two countries, they look at the establishing Indo, a free and open Indo-Pacific region. And this was quite the contrast to what um, he was experiencing while him and his government officials were there in China. And then there were talks on China um, propping up Solomon Islands' budget. Let's talk a little bit more about those budget issues that he raised. He, he made claims about Australia and New Zealand in relation to the budget. What was he referring to? Mm, Bev, interestingly, he said that China will be filling up the void that's being left, um, particularly m mentioning um, donor partners here and multilateral partners who he says have either pulled out or have delayed their budgetary support. And he did not make any clarity as to how this might look from the Chinese government with regards to this budget support. But he did mention that this will be in in unnamed projects. Now, Solomon Islands and Australia, well, Australia is Solomon Islands' largest aid donor, and they have uh, decades of long uh, standing relationships when it comes to security. So, what we're hearing earlier, uh, what we know now, Bev, um, these are allegations that are still unconfirmed as to what Mr. Sogavari is referring to. Okay. And so was Australia, did they give any response? Are they able to clarify what they're referring to? A spokesperson from the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has told the ABC, um, has denied that the Australian government have, um, in fact, pulled out from, from these uh, budget support, saying that Australia has uh, continued on with the support that it has promised or within the two countries and the dialogues that continue to take place, saying that Australia's support continues to be in sectors such as health, election, as well as um, education. And last year, 40 million Australian dollars was given to Solomon Islands. Um, this was, in fact, announced also through the different uh, ministerial visits that took place over the past two years. Uh, we've also heard from Deputy Prime Minister Richard Miles, who was here late last month. He also uh, announced Australia's government support 
uh, of $25 million towards the elections which will take place here in Honiara, in Solomon Islands, rather, next year. There was also support towards the Pacific Games, uh, almost $17 million um, in support. And Australian government has also said that they continue to be in dialogue with Solomon Islands government uh, with regards to this budgetary support and its development. Okay. Well, you know, this is only the second press conference from the Prime Minister. Uh, has there been much reaction in, in Honiara today? It surely is. The last time we had this press conference was not so long ago, Bev, um, and we are expecting more of this. After having a chat with Prime Minister Sogavari after the press conference, he says there'll be more of this. But on the ground, um, as these nine MOUs or these nine agreements have been uh, announced earlier today, uh, there aren't uh, much reactions yet from the people, but we can expect more of this in the days ahead. Good to talk, as always. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much for having me, Beth.